Hey guys, uh, happy 2018. Uh, Dr. Davin Lim, board certified dermatologist. Today we'll be talking about skincare tips for your holiday. And in this case, it's our... I got a hermit crab. You got a hermit crab? Yeah. Okay. Sorry guys. Um, this is skincare tips for um, your tropical holiday. So stay tuned and um, you might learn a thing or two. I'll catch you soon. So guys, um, one of the best things I can give you for hints in regards to holiday tips is to keep things really, really simple because what you want to do is travel, you want to travel light. You don't want to lug everything with you because your skincare tips, your active skincare tips, you can do that when you're back home. When you're in the holidays, have a good time, relax, and just um, travel lightly. First thing I do when I'm in country, I normally buy this. This is Cetaphil. It can be used as um, a multitude of things. It can be used as a face wash, it can be used as a body wash, it can also be used as a moisturizer. And dig this, it's coming towards the end of my holidays and I need a shave and it can be used as a shaving cream. So the flexibility of this um, set of fill, as you can see, it glides on really nicely. It's not as good as, let's say, a proper shaving moisturizing gel or a, a shaving cream. But look, um, I'm not gonna lug that around, so uh, I'm gonna use this instead. So apply liberally and it contains glycerin, so it actually glides over your skin as well. And it's super soft and like I said, a great moisturizer, but you can use that as a cleanser and even as a shampoo. So there you have it, guys. Um, that's just a pretty good, pretty clean shave, considering that um, it's not actually a shaving cream or shaving gel; it's just a moisturizer. So uh, don't forget your soda fill and locks and bite in country, don't lug it around. And no matter where you go, which part of the world, whether it be Indonesia or South America or Central America, Africa, you'll find soda fill everywhere because Galdum is a big brand. Now, okay, what else did I bring? Well, depending on where you go, in most situations, my family holidays are in tropical countries. So what do I bring? What do I lug around? Heaps and heaps and heaps of sunscreen. Um, so everything from uh, an everyday sunscreen to one which we use uh, on the beach. And it's really, really important, guys. Um, there's a lot of difference between an everyday sunscreen, a cosmetically elegant sunscreen, even one, one with an SPF 50, compared to one which is made for um, the beach. And I'll show you why. Um, we'll test it out, hey? So, one of my favorite sunscreens is La Roche-Posay uh, Antelios XL, uh, which I've been using for the last 20 years. So you can see how nice it is. This is, cosmetic, this is what I mean by cosmetically elegant. So we put a little bit of sunscreen there, which is your everyday sunscreen, and you can see how that blends in compared with your waterproof sunscreen. So this is a waterproof sunscreen there. Um, yeah, it's a little bit more over there. Let's make it fair, hey, let's cut a little bit out. Okay, and let's see how well it goes in. This one just blends in. You can see, bang, it's gone. This one, it kind of sticks around uh, and it gives you the sheen. Remember, I've just shaved. So these are all low irritant sunscreens. What you're looking for is a titanium dioxide or zinc oxide um, and that can be found in many kids' sunscreen. And with the Antelios X, um, XL, depending on the country, they put um, different things. I think this is, I bought it from, could be from Singapore. And um, it contains Merxil XL, which once again, it's a very, very old product. Um, it's been around for about 20 years, but an excellent broad-based um, UVA sunscreen as well. So it protects against long wave UVA, unlike other sunscreens. So everyday sunscreen and beach sunscreen, a lot of difference because one will wash off completely like this as soon as I hit the water and one will, should stay on for between two to four hours. Remember to reapply after every two to four hours. Uh, what else do I bring? So apart from sunscreens, a moisturizer, a really simple moisturizer. If I'm traveling in a um, climate like this where it's really warm, sunny, together with high humidity, hardly ever use the air conditioner, um, then I use something like Hydrophase, once again from La Roche-Posay. The reason being is that once again, it goes on very lightly. And like I said, just had the shave so you can see it's low urgency. Um, there's no active ingredients. Do I believe in active ingredients when I'm on holidays? Well, the answer is no. The reason being is that because you have a high chance of having skin irritation. For example, if you're out on the beach 
uh, you may get sunburn. And if you get sunburn, if you try to put your retinoids or retinol, um, you're going to get some um, skin irritation and it's not going to be enjoyable. Remember, you're on holiday, so enjoy it. Um, the other thing I suggest as well is, yes, if you've got some spare, um, I guess, luggage, you can bring your vitamin C's because remember, antioxidants are great for countries uh, where there's lots of UV radiation. So if you want to bring a vitamin C, that's fine. Um, the other thing which I always bring, steroid. Just a tiny bit of steroid cream. The reason being is that it's multi-use. It can be used on sunburn. So let's say, for example, if I get put a little bit in my ear, I get sunburn at the ear or sunburn at the chest. So, and if it's niggly, you just put on um, one or two coats of this uh, once at night and it's done. Next morning you wake up and the sunburn's gone. Uh, the other thing that's good for insect bites, so in the country, in the foreign country, you're always going to get exaggerated insect bite reactions and um, that's going to help. That's for the mosquito bite. Let's have a look at the other side. Can I have a look at the other cheek? I've got some red over there, now you put the ointment there. There you go. How's that? Is that better? And then Daddy put some on the... Ooh, there's a monkey there that's got a mosquito bite as well. So the ointment goes on there. And on the nose as well. And EJ? And one more just up here. And tomorrow you'll be a lot better, okay? Give me a big smile. <laughs> High five. There you go. Ah, talking about insect bites. I normally bring Aragard, but um, my caring mother-in-law decided to give me this. She goes, hey, try this. It's called cit citronella oil. Yes, I'm aware of citronella oil. And yes, I know it keeps away insects, in theory. Um, but thanks, um, mother-in-law. I've got at least uh, 150 mosquito bites and probably will come back with malaria because this stuff doesn't work. Uh, not for Indonesian mosquitoes anyway. Should have brought the Aragard and I would have had the weekend. But anyway, um, can't do a shout out for this company, whatever it is. Can't read, can't read Asian, can't read Chinese. But anyway, um, citronella oil. In theory, yes. In practicality, even though I lather it on, I've seen mosquitoes actually land on the spot of where the oil is, bite through the oil, through my skin, and um, suck my blood. I think it's a mother-in-law thing with the son-in-law, but anyway, we'll see. Um, so don't endorse this. Get yourself some proper insect repellent. Big mistake there on my part. Nothing was probably not going to like this. Okay, another hint I'll give you. Um, I don't know whether you guys have been to tropical islands where they use this as a simple emollient or, or an exfoliant. Sand, that's right. Absolutely right. Sand, that's what we use. Um, this stuff you can actually use to exfoliate. So instead of actually bringing your beta hydroxy acids or your alpha hydroxy acids, if you're very careful, if you're not sunburned, if you don't have rosacea, sensitive skin, um, or broken skin, insect bites, or what have you, you can use sand. And we always try to use a fine grit sand. Don't go to Coral Island and start using rocks or coral. That's going to irritate your skin. So just sand, and I'll show you how it's done. It's as simple as this. Basically, what you're doing is just scrubbing um, using fine grit sand. And that works as a really good exfoliant. Um, and even if you're peeling a tiny bit, remember if you get skin irritation, don't do it because it's actually gonna make your skin worse. But um, if you don't have any skin irritation, you're not burnt and you don't have any inflammation, sand can actually help exfoliate. And as you know, if you've, had a bit, if you've been to tropical holidays um, and they give you an exfoliating scrub, what do they use? Beach sand, can't get, can't get cheaper than that. So remember guys, it's just a little trick I've got. Uh, and do I use this as an, as an exfoliant? Uh, yes, I do. <laughs> Believe it or not, when I'm on holidays, I actually use this to exfoliate my skin. And it gives you a really nice feel. It's like a microdermabrasion, except a little bit coarser. But once again, guys, uh, it may not be for everyone, because if you have sensitive skin, uh, this is going to cause inflammation. But if your skin's fine, by all means, um, yes, I look rid ridiculous sand on the face, but it, is, uh, <laughs> it does actually work. So um, yeah, I hope, hope that gives you a little hint. So guys, that's my skincare routine when I'm on holidays. Keep it really, really simple. And remember, um, just 
Don't make it complex, enjoy your holidays. When I go back home, I actually um, detox my skin. So what do I do then? I basically use the um, retinols, retinoic acid, vitamin A's, vitamin B's, vitamin C's, uh, and I go full on for two weeks, basically to re recuperate my skin. But between now and then, I'm just gonna enjoy it. I'm just gonna enjoy life. I'm not gonna put any retinoids in my skin, I'm not gonna have my skin peeling, I'm just gonna enjoy it. So keep things really simple when you're in the holidays and once you go back, um, detox your skin. Thanks very much for watching that short video. Um, videos like this aren't uh, shot in locations like this every single week. This is Northern Indonesia in the Sulawesi Sea. Um, I do one video every Saturday morning Brisbane time and they're educational videos based on science and technology. So please subscribe, like and share if you like this video. I'll see you same time next Saturday morning. Um, it'll be different attire uh, and different location. I'll catch you then. Thanks guys and have a happy 2018. Bye. So here we go. And there we go. Wow, look at them all go. Look at the hermit crabs. I got cat too. How many did you catch? This is the only time I let my daughter catch crabs. <laughs> Didn't go down too well. Anyway. Here are two more videos in regards to skincare. One for ordinary ABCs of skincare, and the second one is more specific on retinoids or retinol for your skin. Uh, if you're new to this channel, please subscribe, and I'll see you shortly. Bye.